Do you feel safe? Speeding. Being facetious and belligerent. Positioning, cut the car up on your right. I'll find you if I fail. Did you like that? Yeah, very good. Well, thank right. you, thank you, mate. Oh, sick, so I could be. Did you want to cross? Yeah, I think so. I think he's going to fail me. This is the moment of truth. So it didn't go very well, did it, Chero? <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the channel, and uh, we've got something very special lined up today. <laughs> Will I pass my driving test? So, 16th of November 1994, nearly 28 years ago, I passed my driving test within six weeks of my 17th birthday with four minors, I think. But 28 years on, will I still pass my driving test? I'm going to go out with Andrew Flute of the Central Driver Training Company in this amazing Renault Clio 1.6 turbo diesel my island to drive in a Nissan Micro 1 litre. That was a piece of poo. But will I pass my driving test? We're going to jump in a car with Andrew and uh, see how we get on. So Andy's given up his personal time out of some lessons to come here and give us this driving test to find out how I do. I might even take him out in the Porsche later and see how he does as a passenger. But check this out. Chiro proof curb protectors on the alloys. Let's see if they're still intact at the end. So here we are. I've started the car up, I've checked my mirrors. This is Andy. Are you excited? Not He's in fear either. of his life right now, but I am determined to pass my test. Scoot, jump in the back, let's go. Okay, so here we are. We're in the uh, hot seat, as it were, and I'm about to do my driving test. Obviously, I've got a full license. I hope I still got one at the end of this. Um, but I can imagine people are nervous at this point, Andy. Very nervous, yeah. Okay, so well, I've... Check my mirrors, I'm happy with everything. Yeah, when you're ready then, fire Flush. it up. I can't believe this. <laughs> like everybody in my family and half of my Instagram followers believe I'm going to fail. So, foot on the brake. I'm going to drive like Morgan Freeman and you're Miss Daisy Scoop. Yeah. And he's not saying very much. Just watching what you're doing. I don't think you've ever concentrated as much driving a car, have you? <laughs> no, I'm usually one hand at the top and lean back like uh, I'm in my. Merc, what is the most common thing people fail on? The biggest thing that people fail for mainly is roundabouts. Um, so that's where the most amount of things can go wrong all at once. Yeah. Um, and obviously hesitation can be a bigger thing. And just thinking you're in the wrong lane and panicking last minute and just turning across without checking. That's sort of one of the common faults. Yeah. As an observant driver, I've just seen a, a road sign for 200 yards, so yep. I've started slowing down. Yep. Being observant, aren't I? That's it. Okay, cool. I think they should do a retest when you get to a certain age again, though. To be completely honest with you, I've been on two driving courses for speed awareness and one driving course for mobile phone use in the last 20 however many years. So when I did those, I realised how much that refresher course was invaluable yeah. because a lot of things changed out on the road, the capability of cars, uh, driving conditions, people, uh, different things. And obviously with the new highway code, yeah. Um, updates. You know, I've already spoken to two or three petrol head friends that, that, that haven't even read it. So it, it's a difficult one because yeah. unless you go on these courses, you, yeah. you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Don't tell me you have to be in neutral. No. Right, okay. No, because when I was taught to drive, you'd have to change down through the gears. You'd have to sit into neutral. Oh, so that was okay? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. You can just jump straight to the gear you need for the task. Okay. That's Scooter to tell you. So you round about, can you turn left for me, please? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Check the mirrors. I haven't got clear sight, so I'm going to have to stop and down we go. So should I be doing a 30 because it's a 30, or am I all right? No, think anyone? about the environment that you're in. Yeah. Um, it's quite a built-up area, quite a lot of corners and parked cars, so you've been sensible with your driving. Right at the junction, Oh, please. okay. Is it actually a junction, or yeah. is it...? Oh, it is. Nothing from the left, nothing from the right. Oh, look at that Dodge Ram. A bit of a beast. So turning left at the end. Very cool. Okay, let's check my mirrors. <laughs> and if you take the Are my hands in the right place on yeah, the steering your hands wheel? Are fine. There's no restrictions with hands anymore. If you take the next right, we'll have a go at a parallel park quickly. So if you turn down this one. 
So I can do that then? No. All right. Well, you said there's no That's restriction. That's palming the wheel, isn't it? So we're going to use the Fiesta to parallel park with, so. I'm going to put parallel park there, yeah? Yep. What are you worried about? Not worried about anything. I'll just hit the curb. <laughs> there you go, perfectly parked. But okay. I touched the curb. Touch the curb. Would you fail for touching the curb on a driving test? I don't know. Do you know. think you wouldn't anymore? Oh, okay. Um, if you touch the curb, you won't fail. But observations, you would fail. Why? Did you check your blind spot? Yeah. Where? Over there. Did you, there, did you look over your right there. shoulder? Yeah, I went that way. Oh, right, right shoulder, right shoulder yeah. Because that's where your potential hazard's going to come from. But there's no one there. I know there's nobody there, but on the driving test, the worst case scenario is what if. Right, I'm going to show you how I do it. If so I'm going to park start. normal now without you being my driving instructor. I'm parking up, I'm going to the shopping, I'm going to go get some food. Why is that beeping at me? I don't know, but whatever. And I'd do it without reverse camera because yeah. my instructor always taught me at the back window when that gets to 45 degrees with the kerb, yeah. that's when you pull the other way. Yeah. And that's perfect. Yeah. Spot Thank on. you very much. I'm going to go down the high street. So if you turn left just after the traffic okay. lights to go okay. actually through the high street. What's the speed limit here, Chiro? 20. Okay. Is it not? It is indeed. Well, what was I doing? Nothing, just asking you the question. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Did you want to cross? No, no, no. Oh, okay, I have to make sure because the highway code has changed. Oh, sorry, no. No, that's all right. No worries, mate. I don't want to fail my test. <laughs> Cheers, mate. They do. There's lots of road markings that need repainting. Are you crossing? No. Oh, she's going, so I'm going to go, okay? That's it. Cool. So follow the road ahead at the lights in the right-hand lane, please. Yeah. Well, that's where the uh, straight-ahead arrow is, yep. so that's what I would naturally do. Thank you. So there's a lot of things in the press at the moment, uh, especially about a uh, young driver that failed because there were rubber shavings on the passenger seat floor and it comes down to the test guy, what do you call him? The examiner. The examiner. Now, why is it based on the examiner's mood as to whether you could pass or fail on the day what, and that examiner's attitude is, for me, it really annoys me and I know it must annoy the people that have failed based on the examiner's personal mood. It can be quite frustrating for some of the learners because um, there's a certain stigma with some examiners like you hear in the media, oh that examiner failed me, they're like this. Um, and obviously with COVID it's made a massive difference to their attitudes as well. Um, dirty car, doesn't look like you're hygienic, um, so they want a nice clean car on test and it gives a good image for the company as well if you turn up in a clean car. So that's kind of one of the things we try to maintain, just keep a nice, clean car all the time so it looks good. So you've got your bag of auto finesse in the boot with your little handheld <laughs> Uber. What have you got? Got some, got some wipes in the glove box, oh, some cool. sanitizer in the door. <laughs> Turn right exit three on this roundabout. Right exit three. It doesn't, right, first thing is the exits are numbered, but I'm gonna go right, exit three. Let's see what happens, because this is a, a new found roundabout within a roundabout with a big roundabout kind of thing happening. That's it. So you want to go right, exit three. Yep, so we're heading one, towards. One, two, and then going over there. Yeah, heading okay. towards. Oh yeah, I've got that sorted. I can go any time because there's no traffic lights here. What lane should you be in? I'm going in this one. <laughs> I was going to stay in that lane yep. because I wanted to be in the faster lane, but I'll do what you say. Admittedly, a car like this, very modern, I think uh, I, as I said, passed in a Nissan Micro, it had no driver aids, I think it had power steering at the time, but this has got your speed limit on the dash, 30 miles an hour, I have no idea what that was indicating to start with, to be honest. It's got sat nav, everything built into it, it's very comfortable, very easy to drive. And that's, I guess, why I find it so easy to drive that I do creep over the speed limit on occasion. Come on, love. How am I supposed to get through there without curbing the wheels? Going across.
I think I just failed my test because of a. Uh... Yeah, I think so. I think he's gonna fail me. <laughs> oh, whoa, he's crossing the road. Afternoon, sir. I'm just telling my test driver that I let you cross the road there with the new highway code. Did you like that? Yeah, very good. Well, thank well, you, thank you, mate. Hopefully, I'll pass. Yeah, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Do so they the always so blame powerful. someone else? They always blame someone else. You never took me there. That's the oh, biggest one. You never took me fault. down there before. We've never been on the A14. Well, how did we get here? Ah, they didn't realise it was the A14. No, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's where the most accidents happen. On a country lane or a fast road. Oh, did it? Okay. Because uh, what do most young lads want to do when they pass the test? Scoot. Oh, you want to go we're, fast. We're you want to go fast. And end up in that dip. Yeah, and this oh. is the place that you'd want to go and do it. Um, so whenever I take anybody out on a country lane, I would teach them how to drive safely on a country lane, but with a bit of speed behind it, yeah. rather than. So am I wrong something. to position myself slightly away from? Sit slightly away from it. You do. Yeah, that's correct then. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's see Chiro pull away. Hopefully there's no burnout or anything. Very nice, Chiro, very nice, very nice. You know what? That is, that is quite steady, Chiro, well done. Okay, so let's have some one-on-one -on -one talk. Me, Scoot, and the camera. Now, I've been dropped off in literally the middle of nowhere, waiting for Chiro to come back down. Do I feel safe? Of course I do. Of course Chiro's a very good driver, but the amount of times he's made the mistakes in the course, I've been learning to drive, and uh, yeah, it's funny watching him do it because uh, Christ, he is something when he does this. But here he comes now. Let's have a look at him go past. Hopefully there's no 100 miles per hour flyby in the Lamborghini. Oh, we have got another car, I nearly got run over. Very nice, very nice. So far, so good. Um, yeah, well done Chiro, you're, you're doing well. Look at this reversing. Go on, go on. I like the indication as well. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just saw you standing by the road. Did you want to cross the road? Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. No entry. Why? Can't go in there, can you? Why not? No entry sign. So, half an hour out in the Renault Clio with Andy, and we're now pulled up in a pub car park, and this is the moment of truth. Well, Did Kira, I pass my test? Unfortunately, on this occasion, you haven't passed. We failed within the first 30 seconds of pulling out of the hotel. <laughs> I made sure I said test. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm just. No, was that start stop? You stalled it. No, I didn't. It was start stop. You stalled it. That, no, was, I... that was third gear trying to pull away. On the A6, you were speeding as we went through into a 40 zone. So far, it's been pretty straightforward because the road has been pretty straight. Okay. But we're going to go into Rushton Town and try to find some pedestrians. Doing 60 in the 40. Where? <laughs> no! Ah! Uh, you were going 60 into the 40, whereas you should be adequately slowed down before you get there. So 30 zone then, Chiro, not 42 or a lesson. Why? She's going 35. So we're coming into high and ferrers. Yep. Speeding. Point six still turbo speeding. diesel to the test. Couldn't still you? speeding. Oh, it's thirty. What is that? Really? It's a thirty. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so if you like them, we just sort of. Do you want to do all the manoeuvres as well? Do a couple of manoeuvres. They've now, they've now changed to what you were taught. Oh, sick. So a I could be um, doing manoeuvres that I think I know how to do them and not do them. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You've just casually done at least 14 or 30. Just yeah. <laughs> is it 30 here? Yeah. Oh. It even tells you on your... <laughs> Where? Oh, is that what that means? <laughs> right, okay, <laughs> right. And then on a big roundabout, when we were going round the roundabout, we were turning right, you drifted across to the left lane without any checks at all. Positioning, cut the car up on your right hand side. Where? Just turn right on the roundabout. Yeah, they're going right. How did I come up on the roundabout? You took the lane and an ETL on a country lane, so I had to use the brakes on you. Very well, I did. Oh! I just failed. A what? An examiner taken action. Why? So, because we had that meeting situation with the car where you get a bit excited. 
Yeah. That's a big fail. Three majors, that is, isn't it? Three majors, yeah. This is a valuable <laughs> lesson, guys. 28 years on since passing my driving test. I've got full license. I've only got three points for a photographer being unrestrained during a photography rolling shot. And he actually was restrained, but the police couldn't see it and I couldn't prove it. And I feel I'm a good driver. But 28 years on, everything's changed. And yeah, you just need to be a bit more observant and a better driver. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of knew, everyone in my family said I was gonna fail. Scoot said I was gonna fail. Even Andy said I was gonna fail. And I think most of you watching, you've been driving 25 years plus, you'd fail too. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to do things different, quirky. We've got a few different seasons and series coming up of different things that we're filming. Scoot's behind the camera. Hit that like button. Give me a comment. Would you pass your test right now?